if you can't get one to appear on camera. Oh, like that. Oh. Gee, that timing was impeccable. You get the net. If it can go wrong. Like that. Oh, of course. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, we're at all courts here. Let's go chase some darrows. Well, I'm gonna try an unweighted prawn. It's really weedless. The tide's dropping here, so. I'm gonna work a different angle on this now. There's a bit of a colour change here. The bait holding in these sticks. Look at that. Yeah, that's a lovely entry. A little more natural kind of flow. Oh, I'm on. That's four pound too, Jesus. That's a jack, I think. I can see him just there. Geez, he's buckled that. Oh! Jack? Yeah, it looks like a jack. There's his tail. There he goes. Can we get him out? Come on, buddy. That might be a bar. That's a bar tail. Oh, no, we're going in. Oh, there she come. There we go. It's only a little tucker. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, thank God he's a little packer. Oh, there would have been all sorts there. Nice little one there. There you go. Quick release. Done. Move this fella back up. Get the nose out of that, so normally I just bite these. Like that. Come back down. I don't taste like a prawn for anyone after. Everyone playing at home. Just bury that little pin in there and he's good to go again. As you can see these appear to be fish, what I think. Little white lines there. Sitting in, that's definitely a fish. That's a fish. Sitting in all these little sand divots. Sitting in there. There's another one. That could be one in there too. So, hopefully we'll drag the lure across them. Cover a bit of ground. There's another one. There's one. That's a nice one. And, um, yeah. See if we can get one in twice, one to eat. That's the guy. There's another little one there, another little one there. That's one. He's all he's pretty much 99% guaranteed they're a by the shape of their shadows. Could be a little one out there too in the hole, so wish us luck, here we go. He's under the lure. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, he's spitting up, spitting up feather brim. I'm going to get the net handy here, just in case, because I'm by myself. And old Jimmo, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Come on, finish it up here, brother. Oh boy, running out of hands here. Oh god. Alright. That's that. We got ourselves on. It's not a bad one too. Mid 60s. Look at that. Head out. Jimbo always gets seems to get a hook in his hand here. Yeah, beautiful bow Monday. Get the hooks out and get a few photos of that guy and um, yeah, send him on his way. There you have it. How good's that? Probably just on 60 this one. As you can see, we um saw him there on the back side of that um sandbar and yeah just managed to get a lure in front of him in front of this in this dirty water. So uh, we'll get a few pics of this guy and we'll let him go. It looks like it's about to bucket down again, so... Easy. Keep it in touch with the bottom. Starting to feel the bottom now. That's a bit better. Well, naturally the camera just died. <laughs> and I hooked up. Got it into that wand. Look at that bad boy. He's alright. Not a bad one. Oh, yep. Yep. Come on, up you come. Oh, yeah. Oh, mad. <laughs> Did he have it right at the boat? What a mad dog. What a little mad dog. Now I'll do this now. Far out. I'm going to get a hook in me for sure. They seem to seem to be able to dodge them. I can't. Ow. Look, oh, into my shirt. Trick is to slide the plastic. Ah, ah, oh. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Yeah, go on there. Not only school size fish. Oh. So you can see the by the belly of that line there. Watch this. Off the bottom. Sinking and it's hit the bottom there. You see the belly of the line get bigger. That means it's on the bottom. And it's just a slow retrieve. Just keeping in touch with the bottom every now and then. Just oh like that. Yeah, not bad. He's a little little fella, but that's good. That's good when it works. Up you come, fella. Yeah, he's not bad. He's only pinned by that treble. I'll see if I can shake this guy off. Ooh, a bit go for these school size fish. Oh, he nearly put that one into me leg. Fella, fella, fella. Just like that, he's gone. That lure has snapped. Like that. The lure's come out. Flung into the water. And that's why you got to retie your leaders. Jeez, I was lucky then. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. Send it out there, like I said to you. Let it sink to the bottom. It's on the bottom. Keep it in touch. See if I can do this two casts in a row. Talk my way through it, maybe talk a fish onto 
participating in an episode of Jim's Fishing. Just slide along the bottom, feel on the bottom every now and then. And that lure should work its way down to this way there with that current coming over. Like that, there's a little bit of sand ridge that comes up, if you can imagine, the guy will be sitting around here. After that lure comes down and around it, and um, yeah, it gets in front of him. You trust yourself in this kind of situation. Trust what you're doing. And give it time. It might not always happen straight away. Just like that, eh? Just like that. We'll pitch that one up there. Let it sink to the bottom. Bit of bait, bit disturbed over there. Hmm. Might have to venture over there for a look soon. Let's give these fish another tickle. Ten minutes. See if you can't get one to appear on camera. Oh, like that. Oh. Gee, that timing was impeccable. Holy moly. That's what I like, yeah. Good, you're playing the game. Here, I might get you to become a bit of a regular. That was good. Good from you. Yep, chin hooked. So I've only just whacking it out of aggression, I think. Half whacking it, but you get the net. If it can go wrong. Like that? Oh, of course. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we're at all courts here. There we go. That was good for the gods. The bloody edge rod. Well, he's come off. That's good. That's easy enough to deal with. Chuck that one there. Chuck that one there. Yeah, good on your little ticker. Here comes the rain. Just have a look here, see if there's any more fish still sitting around here. Yep, look at them. They're fish. Some good ones there. Some more fish, one, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. Look at them little buggers. Oh yeah, there's a few there. There's a few. Yeah, nice. Let's see if we can get some. Oh man, that rain. Go away. And the wind, here it comes. No oh, kitten caboodle, get off there. Absolutely wonderful. Oh! Damn! Alright, here we go. Just ship it out a bit more. You see a bit of a, a bit of a line there in the in the current. The sand bar dropping away. We're doing the same thing, letting the little sink to the bottom. There's another nice one. 
There you go. That's all right. Another one, just like the other one. Not bad. Here's a bit better. Definitely a bit better. Oh. Yep. That's a spike into the foot. Thanks, thanks for the attitude, mate. But yeah. Oh, got to be happy with that. Definitely going to be happy with that. More rain coming. Yeah, lovely. Take the knee out of the way. It's probably about mid 60s, that one. So I'll get a few photos of him and we'll let him go. All right, here we go. See if we can hug another one. Oh, there it is. That's not bad. That's what we wanted. Where's he doing? What's he doing? Yeah, nice. I think he's throwing a hook there. Felt it come out. Yeah, standard. Probably water all over the lens too now. Oh no, don't do that. Sharks around here, fella. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. Oh, you got a broken dorsal. Yeah, right. Bit me. Just like that, out he comes. Flipping around. Hello, mate. Oh, six and a half. As that tide's dropping, that sandbar's very shallow over there, only half a metre deep. The fish seem to be congregating obviously on the deeper side. So he's moved out a little bit. And um, still only probably a couple of metres if that there of depth. Got that lure. Oh, that's tap again. Just bring it around the outside of that sandbar there. The awaiting predators. So. Come on, fellas. What's that? Oh! Jeez, I've seen better strikes at Queensland Rail, Jim. That was sad. God, any later and you'd be pregnant. <laughs> See that sandbar pushing up there. The water's getting shallower and shallower. Okay, and a little ridge there. Uh, no, it seems to have moved down just in front here. So hopefully, oops, oh, that's out. Hopefully we can get a couple. main current seems to be coming straight down through here. There's a little bit of a <coughs> dirty water line here. Might be a bit hard to see with the glare. But it runs along the outside the, or the deeper part of that sandbar. So I think the fish are going to be sitting down a bit. As that tide gets lower and lower. And hopefully we can put this in front of one. And we'll play a game. Just really good school size fish, really healthy. You know, probably the best eating size, in my opinion. Oh, yep, there we go. Yep. Up he comes. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I saw that fish kind of, I saw another fish burst. Yeah, not bad. Come on, man. Yeah, nice man. Good stuff. Really good stuff.
Oh my god, Jimmy, it's a hook in the hand. You gotta make sure you hold them right while they're spikes. Right there, like that, see? There you go. Right, eh? That's it. Saw some fish on brand new Hummingbird Solex 12, so pretty stoked with that. Saw some fish, got some fish. A few fish even played ball and even jumped on when I told them to, so happy days. Now it's time to duck into Jim's kitchen. We'll get in here, we'll go into the cold room. We've got a nice one here. Good vintage. It's a, uh, well, I don't say, tell you what it is, you just know what it is. Oh, we'll get him again. Till next time.